Welcome viewers to another video. So I'll be going over the Danish gamut. It starts off with E4, E5, and D4. Already starting with the gamut. Not that great of a move, but trust me, it gets better. So he thinks, okay, you know, I'll take the pawn. He takes back. We're all good. Then you give him another pawn. He's like, okay, two pawns for the price of one? That's even better. I just got two pawns. This one and this one. And now you move your bishop over here. So he thinks, is this guy stupid or what? Three pawns. I got three pawns for the price of one pawn. But you take back. You kind of have this bishop diagonal lined up. Even though it only shows the black side by 0 0.3. It's because these bishops are very strong. So then most people think, well, this is kind of, this pawn is kind of like undefended. It's only defended by this bishop. If I move it out of the way, I, I, I can uh, go trap the rook. So he thinks, I'll defend it by the queen. That is not really a good move. Because, uh, even though you might think, well, I can take the pawn later. Then you go knight f3, attacking the queen. He thinks, is this guy stupid or what? Because I could take the g pawn, but that is a mistake. Even you're thinking, that's good. I get to threaten the rook, maybe, you know, I, I, I get another free pawn. I'm up by three now. But then you slide the rook over right here. Now look at this. He he can't take this pawn because it's defended. He can't take this pawn because it's defended by the king. He can't take the rook because it's defended by the knight. And he can't take the knight because it's defended by the queen. And he can't go anywhere of these because it's, the rook is attacking him. So he has to go here. But let's say he thinks, I don't really want to move my queen another way. So he does an in-between move. Not that great. Why is that what I want now? Because most people think, well, I could just move my bishop here and it's a trade. That's not good. You gave me the three pawns. Or two pawns, actually. Two pawns, just for this diagonal. So why would you give it up? So you could just move the king up. It may not seem like a good move. You can't castle anymore. But it's the best move. Just move the king up. It's actually really good. Because now the queen has to move out of the way if he doesn't want to be captured. Moves here. And then we have the brilliant move. Bishop takes f7 check. Because if he takes... Then that's a queen fork, getting the queen. So let's say he doesn't take, he goes here. You slide the rook up. He moves his queen to attack the other rook, even though it's the defended. You take this free knight, because he can't take back, because you're in a check. He, let's say he moves out of the way. It's the only move he could really do. Other other than taking this. Even though, that, even though it seems like the best move, the best move is actually to take the rook. Because... Because now, look, look, look what's happening here. You, you have a big attack. You can go move the rook out of the way. Move it down. Move it down. And now you have this big attack. The bishop's attacking the rook. And the rook can't take the bishop. He gets defended by the other rook. And all three are up by two. And a very good position. So this is a very strong gambit. I suggest uh, lower to middle rated players use this. Thank you guys so much for watching. And have an amazing day.